Hi, good morning. My name is Dr. Kavita. Today I'm going to explain to you about um, enhancement of lantern fingerprint using dye eggshell powder. So, as you all know, fingerprint evidence is one of the important evidence uh, can be obtained from crime scene investigation. It can be used to determine whether somebody present at the crime scene or to determine the identity of some uh, someone. So the normal method that we use to get fingerprint is black powder. This black powder contains a lot of hazardous chemicals, examples of heavy metal. Uh, the side effect of using it for long term exposure, it will can cause health problem to the person who exposed to it. So we suggest uh, to use something which is um, which is safe to the environment and to the human being uh, which is eggshell uh, eggshell powder uh, it is safe simple and easy to use hi uh, i'm amani from faculty of applied sciences yatim shalam malaysia um, cancer is one of the uh, global or worldwide health concern currently uh, the medicine used to treat the cancer is synthesized chemically so hence we use the natural product from this mature seed of Malaysian aromatic rice in order to produce stems and uh, leaves uh, in vitro techniques and then proceed with the characterizations. So as a result, the Malaysian aromatic rice may act as a promising and a potential anti-cancer agent. To know more, please visit us at the uh, Faculty of Applied Sciences Contagion Booth Number 6. See you there! Hello, Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Azri from Faculty of Applied Sciences. Uh, for this uh, IADEX, um, we made uh, iron liquid. Uh, this is a new class of solvents. Uh, the alternative solvent for conventional solvents. So basically, iron liquid is known as a green solvent. Um, so if you guys looking for any applications, for example, uh, biomass or separations, uh, catalysis or any uh, reactions that involve solvents so you can come to our booth uh, to know more about these green solvents thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh good morning welcome to our booth c009 uh, today we bring to you frankincense gummy um, we develop a gummy with special ingredients containing frankincense extract frankincense is a resin uh, we hydrodistillate the extract using uh, and get the byproduct of hydrosol and also frost and include it into a gummy with different flavor. Come and taste our product and enjoy it. Hi and assalamualaikum. Do you know that product failure and product and adulterated product are widely happen in the in the industry nowadays? For example, premature quitting failure uh, that fails within six months which will cause catastrophe in the oil and gas industry. For example, the fire burning in Pengerang plant that happened recently. So here we are from My Fingerprint Body. We would like to introduce a quick and reliable technique to evaluate quality and consistency of the product by fingerprint uh, the product. So to find out more, please come to our booth at 007C09, Faculty of Applied Sciences. Thank you. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Selamat pagi semua uh, Kami daripada Fair Food Industries uh, Hari ini kami membawakan produk Una Coffee Iaitu produk daripada hasil pendidikan dan inovasi Saya sendiri sebagai pesyarah di uh, Fakulti Sains Gunaan Universiti Teknologi Mara Syak Lam uh, Saya Dr. Aida Azmi So uh, ini adalah uh, hasil produk terbitan uh, syarikat terbitan universiti okay, Jadi apa yang special sangat dengan Una Coffee ni Uh, dia dapat memberikan tenaga tambahan, tenaga segera ataupun kita panggil energy booster dan meningkatkan fokus uh, serta kadar uh, apa ni alertness ataupun kepekaan uh, kepada peminumnya lah. So dapatkan hari ini di DATC harga diskaun kau-kau daripada 139 sekotak hari ini 100 sahaja dan kita pun ada buat pertandingan siapa menang akan dapat hadiah teka berat biji kopi. Okey, hadiahnya adalah satu kotak una kopi. Okey, jumpa di sini.
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Uh, as you know, palm kernel cake is a main byproduct of palm oil industry and it's very cheap in Malaysia that uh, export and uh, is, is used just for feeding of animal. That's why we wanted to add the value of the palm kernel cake, which is around 2.5 million ton annually production in Malaysia and uh, protein content of 14.5 to 19 percent. That's why we try to hydrolyze the <coughs> protein of the palm kernel cake and produce the high valuable uh, bioactive peptides and protein hydrolysate, which uh, as can be seen here, this is the palm kernel cake before, uh, before uh, hydrolyzing the protein and this one showing the uh, bioactive peptides uh, which we have produced as a bio ingredient. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. My name is Muhammad Fakaw Zaman Raja Yahya. This is my product. It is named Anti Salmonella Biofilm Kit. We can use this product to clean and also disinfect all types of surfaces, including jeans, cotton, as well as the steels. It is useful, it is suitable for everyone, including uh, those are traveling abroad, uh, the workers in industrial area, as well as the healthcare practitioner. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, saya Dr. Rahma Muhammad from uh, daripada Green Polymer Research Group. Uh, saya mempunyai produk hybrid biostraw iaitu straw yang boleh uh, mesra yang mesra alam dan terhurai. Uh, masalahnya sekarang ialah uh, straw adalah ma mahal. Misalnya ini ini singgit lima setengah hingga dua ringgit. Yang ini lebih kurang lapan sen hingga sepuluh sen satu piece. So ini boleh di uh, terpaksa dibasuh dan ini akan jadi sogi dalam air. Sementara hybrid ni mempunyai tiga ejen degradasi, iaitu kita boleh degrade dengan matahari light, kita boleh degrade dengan uh, Uh, soil dalam tanah dan juga dalam laut okay. so uh, apa yang uh, company saya telah mempunyai syarikat yang boleh uh, mengeluarkan produk uh, straw ni ia dalam package yang bersih dan uh, dia boleh dipasarkan uh, melalui live queue uh, sendiri merahat Assalamualaikum I'm Zamir from the Faculty of Life Sciences UITM Shah Alam It is reported that more than 300 million people are suffering of the skin disease yearly. So introducing a smart bioelectronic textile that can provide a protective, protective layer onto the fabrics. This could be used in many applications, for instance, the sport attire and also the attire for laboratories and biomedical users. This come to both number eight uh, contingent faculty of plant sciences number nine. Thank you.